Hi all, welcome to VTLAB video. Today I would like to get across to you the concepts of the difference between ovaries and testicles with regards to how sperm and eggs are manufactured. Importantly, the testicle is very different to the ovary. It contains numerous stem cells which us males are born with and every we don't know how, what time intervals there are, but there is a continuous production of more stem cells from original stem cells, and these daily give rise to the production of sperm. The ovary is very different. A woman is born with all her eggs. Those eggs get older with her, and monthly for one egg to be released, a woman is losing anywhere between 100 and 1,000 eggs. So there's this constant decline in the egg number, together with the fact that there's an aging process that happens in these eggs. So women are put on this planet obviously for preservation of the species and they have a limited lifespan as far as the eggs go and their peak with regards to conception is somewhere between the age of 18 and 24. As we all know the planet is evolving, women are no longer having babies at that age, they are delaying childbearing, they are going to university, they are getting their degrees, establishing themselves in the workplace and then eventually finding Mr. Wright who may take about five years and once they settle down to have a baby, a woman's in her mid to late thirties which is obviously too late. So we are pleading to people out there to read as much as they can about egg freezing, egg banking because if you freeze eggs when you are 24 and you are wanting to try and fall pregnant at 38 or 40 and you are having difficulty with your eggs at that age you will always rest on the eggs that you put in the freezer at age 24 and have the same very good pregnancy rates that you would have had had you got pregnant at the age of 24.